this is my British Seagull outboard engine. Um, we had a lot of starting problems, so I'm just going to run through those. The first thing we did is we had a look at the carb, carburetor, cleaned all that out, it was lovely. Um, so that's nice and clean. We've obviously checked for spark, checked the points, and we couldn't get it going. And what we were doing is, if we look on the carb, what we were doing is on this fuel um, injector thing, we were like obviously putting too much in to the carb, it was just flooding it, so that's why it wouldn't start. And I just want to say a big thank you to Jamie Griffin, um, Theo's dad, because he helped us get it running. Um, there's a bit of the way actually it dropped in there, so he knew about that. So we got that out. And I'm going to try to start it. I haven't actually tried this yet. Um, so this will be my first time. Alright, so we've got to have choke down. Let the fuel go in. Half throttle. Did yeah, you tickle the carburetor, Daryl? No. That's a big thing you have to do. Because it's cold, so wait until a bit of fuel comes out. That's good. That should run. Fingers crossed. Shall I give it a pull, Daryl? I'll have one more go, and then we should, hopefully, we can get it going. For sake. I can't do it, I don't know why. I don't know if it's in properly, or something. But you do it. need the throttle about halfway when you're starting these engines. So I'll give it a little bit more throttle. I don't think I'm going to get it running, but it's worth a try. I can't do it. Okay. Let's see if my dad can have a go. He'll probably get it going first pull. Right. So I'm now behind the camera, as you can see. Um, he's just going to have a go, just because I'm not quite strong enough. that's why it shuts off. 